Hey guys and welcome to a new video. This is just going to be some in real life footage that I recorded on the day I went back to Kent because I spent a few days with my family over the Easter break and um, yeah it was kind of refreshing just to get away from I don't know all the gaming and just stuff in London. Um, and always nice to visit your hometown, but I am going to be showing you my university somewhat um, which is located just next to the O2 arena and here's the entrance now with some really shaky footage so I sped it up. Um, yeah, I was just carrying around my DSLR all day. I was think I'm actually thinking about getting one of those Canon PowerShot cameras, you know, like the little digital ones um, as they'd be pretty good for vlogging on and maybe you guys would like to see some uh, footage like that in the future. But um, yeah, the reason I went to uni was because I had to go into the quality control room to make sure one of my edits was uh, fit for broadcasting and that just went terribly. Uh, I missed the lecture for the unit and um, I don't know, it just I just couldn't figure this stuff out. Luckily there were a couple of people that were doing something uh, upstairs and they needed to come into the room. I don't even think they were allowed to but because I had the pass but I just said screw it and they helped me out so that was nice. But um, yeah, as you can see, it looks like technical stuff. After that, I did go back to Stratford International and um, from there I could get the overground or just national rail back to my hometown, which was cost me about 40 pounds, mind you. So I, I was just like, fuck, that's like two buds. And I know it's awful, but that's how I like see things in uh, money nowadays. I just play TF2 too much. But I think that's mostly because whenever I need to spend some money on something I wouldn't usually do, I can just sell something in TF2, if that makes sense. So it's um, a nice perk to have and I'm glad I did put in all those hours over the last year. But um, got to Stratford International, got the overground, um, try, tried to get some artsy footage out the window. I didn't think to record anything when I got back to Kent, mostly as my camera battery was low, but I did record some of the journey back to London and um, obviously my dad and I customising my setup a little bit more. Um, mostly him, he did all the work, but I did help a tiny bit. I said to my dad I wanted to spray paint my desk black a while ago and he said he'd look into other options and as you can see uh, he found this self-adhesive black plastic sheet and it only costs six pounds for a five meter roll of it um, which is equivalent to like ten dollars so super cheap it will be interesting to see how it holds up over the next few months and if it does I will probably think about redoing this maybe twice a year just to keep a nice fresh looking desk um, and obviously I'll get my dad to do it because I would probably do a terrible job but um, props to him I do appreciate a lot of stuff he does for me he obviously took me back to London and uh, here you can see the sort of beechwood color transition into a black one um, and yeah, I just much prefer my setup now. It feels a lot more professional. I even got a, a new computer chair, as you can see there. Pretty much a bucket seat uh, for a car, but it's got a nice red uh, trim uh, on the outside of it. And I'll leave a link to the material I use on the desk in the description, as well as a link to my computer chair. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different. Don't do in real life videos too often. But let me know what you think of the setup. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.